Okay, today I want to talk about something really, really simple, but something that I see that gets really misunderstood quite a bit. Um, there's a lot of really bad information out there when it comes to camshafts and lift and duration and LSA, and I'm not going to get into every aspect of a cam, but I want to talk about two things that seem to get really, really confused, and that's lift and that's duration. If you look at a camshaft, the lift is the max amount of lift that opens up the valve. It's the max number. It's, it's, a, it's what you see on a cam card. When you're looking at it, it'll tell you that at 50 thousandths uh, lift, the gross, or excuse me, the gross lift is 664, 728 on this small block Chevy cam. And that spec is very, very, very important, especially when you talk about piston to valve clearance and you know, if there's any engagement there, you certainly you don't want the, the valve touching the piston when you're driving. It's not going to last that long if you do. So lift is certainly a very, very important number. The duration is how long, once it starts to ramp up and the valve starts to open, the length of time or the duration of the rotation of the camshaft, how many degrees that that is open. And again... When we look at our cam card here for this old small block Chevy, it's at 283 on the intake, 315 on the exhaust. At 50 thousandths, it's 254, 286. So it's a pretty healthy little hydraulic roller for a small block Chevy. It happens to be this cam right here. This is an LS cam. This is a cut down version of an LS cam. But anyway, I just wanted to talk really quickly about that. But when it comes to What's more important, and I see this discussed quite a bit and talked about quite a bit, and it seems like the lift number is always the first thing that people talk about. And as when you're selecting a camshaft, it's something to consider, but is it the most important aspect of a camshaft? Is Will it give you the best information? Will it give you the best performance? Is it the most critical number? Now, we're not going to talk, like I said, about LSA, centerline, none of those things. I just want to talk about these two things, and then later on, sometime in another video, we will talk about how to select a camshaft based on what you're working on, um, what vehicle, weight, what you're trying to do with it, what kind of driving, transmission, ratios in, in the rear end, all those things. But for right now, let's just talk about these two things and which one's more important. So let's talk about that. Lift and duration. Now, lift and duration obviously are two critical components to selecting how the camshaft is going to run and operate within the engine. So I want you to think of it very, very simply. I'm going to try to draw this out the best I can. This is a window, okay? Window you see in your house or whatever. Most windows open about halfway top there's panes of glass whatever this part down here is what slides up and it opens up the window to get air in inside the inside the home trailer whatever you're working on if you open up this window if this is all the way closed and up here is all the way open and you open up this window 100 percent okay 100 percent open all right but you only leave the window open, let's say, for five seconds. Okay? Five seconds. And then after five seconds is over, you shut the window. Okay? It's closed. Five seconds. Now, let's talk about that in a different, different way here. Okay? Let's take that same window... Okay, there's our panes of glass. Again, this is 100% open up here. This is 100% closed. Let's say on this window, you only open it up halfway. Okay, you're only halfway. But you're going to leave the window open this time for 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Okay, 
in 30 seconds, call that airflow into your window. Okay. This one here, a lot bigger surface area. When you look at these two, when you look at these two, this window is open all the way, 100% max lift. But it's only open for a duration of five seconds. This window is only at half lift, but it's open for a duration of 30 seconds. Which window flows more air? Which one's going to have more airflow going through it? Is it the one open for five seconds with 100% lift or the one open at 30 seconds with only half lift? Well, it's pretty easy to see and I think pretty easy to understand that the window that is open with the longer duration is the one that's going to flow more air. And in this case, in a camshaft, you're going to flow more fuel and air down into the cylinder. The longer the duration, the more fuel and air you're going to flow in it. Even if the lift is significantly less than it is in, in a different camshaft, the lift is super important, obviously. But to me, the critical dimension in a camshaft is right here, is the duration. It is how long that doggone thing is open. That's what you want to concentrate on. Now, it's a it's a it's a complete package type of thing. We've talked about that a hundred times in the past. You know, the the camshaft, the intake manifold, headers, compression ratio, you know, the the rocker arm ratio, every little detail, what type of headers is it boosted or NA, are you throwing nitrous at it, whatever. All of those things are super, super critical to selecting the right camshaft. But when it comes to lift and duration, don't be so hung up on this number. It's important. The number that you want to really talk about and think about with your cam guru is the duration. Again, lift is very important. Duration is a number where you're going to make a lot of your horsepower. And that's a thing that people get wrong very, very frequently. I see it on forums. Facebook pages, Instagram, whatever, where somebody will throw up specs or tell them they just put a cam, stage two cam or whatever into their engine. And the first thing they want to know is, well, what's the lift and duration on it? And they'll talk and go, well, that lift sounds a little low, doesn't it? It's the duration. It's the combination of all the pieces that fit into that puzzle, obviously. But it is certainly the duration that's the key factor here. That's what's going to give you the time to flow more fuel and air into the cylinder. So I don't want you to forget about that. I want you to understand the, the basic difference between the two. But I also want you to understand that when you're talking about lift and duration, duration is, the, is where you're going to build your horsepower. Duration is where you're going to get the drivability of the camshaft, how it's going to run, how it's going to operate, how it's going to drive, how all the important things of it. The duration is the big number. Now... We can talk about LSA and, and how the cams degreed into the engine all we want. It's very important. And sometime down the road, uh, when we degree in the cam on the uh, 454 for the Chevelle, we'll, t we'll talk about that. And we'll talk about where we set the center line at and where we dial it in at. But duration for me, as a somebody that does a lot of cam selection throughout the day and weeks and months and years, the duration is the number that you look at when you're trying to talk about horsepower. So anyway, I just wanted to do a little quick down and dirty on it. I've seen too much bad information out there. I just wanted to talk about it really quick. Uh, if you have any questions on this, please don't hesitate. Leave them down below. If you thought the video was cool, please, hey, as always, I appreciate you hitting the like button or the dislike button. It doesn't really matter to me. Um, but anyway, I appreciate you guys watching, and uh, I'll try to answer your questions down below. Don't get too wrapped up in, you know, specs and all that. I, I probably won't spend a lot of time helping you, you know, pick a camshaft profile. It takes quite a bit of time, actually, to do it properly. But I want you to understand the difference between the two and why the duration side of things is so important. So anyway, I appreciate you guys watching, and uh, we will catch you on the next one. We'll see you.